see a lot of producers become artists. We're going to see that combination. And I think the reason is because producers, you see, a lot of the times, yes, they play a back role and they're not usually the star, but I think that's becoming more of a thing because one, Producers need as many, just like everybody else, they need as many revenue streams as possible. But for some odd reason, producers kind of get the short end of not only the credit, but financially sometimes, not all producers, but a lot of producers seem to get short, short ended. So I think because of that, there's this need to evolve and kind of find new avenues to make income. So I think one of those strategies to become an artist, yes, it makes sense for some, but not so much for others. I think who did it well, I'd say, I'd say Khaled did it pretty well, DJ Khaled. Great producer. Um, not sure if I like some of the choices he makes as an artist, but he definitely was successful. Um, so he did something right. Keep in mind though, people like that, they have a lot of great business ventures and people backing them as well. So you gotta understand somebody like a Khaled is also an executive, you know what I mean? He's also an A&R, he knows the business in and out. So another person I think did a really good job of transitioning from producer to artist, being a really good hybrid, DJ Mustard especially since he bought back his masters um, and, and how he just really elevated his business. I think he sounds great on records too. Like he doesn't sound annoying or out of place. So I think, I think DJ Mustard did a nice job. 2020, I think we're gonna see more of that. I also think that some of the artists we like will also try and delve into production. That, that one's a little bit more tricky because naturally when you're a producer, you're writing songs. So a lot of times you're humming and already coming up with lyrics as you're making beats, right? That's part of the process. If you're strictly an artist and you've never touched a beat before, it's a little bit different of a transition because now you gotta learn about frequencies. Now you gotta learn about mixing um, and it's not just as simple as writing down a lyric like when you're a producer you know depending on your talent level and your keenness for for um, lyrics and melody a lot of times you can just hum the root note so if the beat is going you can just hum lyrics along with that. I gotta go. I gotta keep it on the moon low. I do my thing, Papa, then it only go. Right? So it's, it's innate. It's natural. But like if you've never made a beat before and all you know how to do is perform lyrics, it's gonna be kind of like, a new language. It's like trying to learn Python, you know what I mean? So I think we're going to see a lot of transitions and people switching and maneuvering, but I am really excited to see um, also in the sync land space, sync licensing space, I'm excited to see um, how, how streaming is going to affect it as well as, as you, some of you guys know, the battle that's going on right now with Discovery Networks, trying to uh, take away royalties for composers. Um, I know that's not gonna fly and I'm excited to see fellow producers and composers stand up. Um, and I, I wanna see sync licensing become even more lucrative this year. I want it to be um, something that people are naturally doing just as much as writing for major artists, you know. If you were gonna compare, you know, somebody who has a lot of sync placements or, you know, at least 10, versus someone who has at least 10 major artist placements, right? So myself, I have about 20 sync placements. And then if you were gonna care, you know, compare to somebody who has 20 plaques, right? 20 gold records, right? Um, 
depending on the type of sync deals you're doing, you know, you could be just as success, just as successful, or you could not. All depends on what's on the table. Um, but I am really excited to see more producers dive into sync, more composers diving into major artist placements. I think it's all good for the business economy. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be really awesome.